I'd like all of our young kids, our elementary kids, to come talk to me for a minute if you're here. Please, come, come. Let's see if you're here. Come, let's have a chat. Come sit with me, okay? Oh, Anthony, look. Like action man, Michael. Action man. Well, hello. I know it's Eleni and Gabo. Good morning. How are you? Do you? So how many of you here were in our our Holy Trinity Academy before? I know some of you are. Okay. Remember a song that I taught you? No. Well, maybe I, maybe I didn't teach it to your class, but I know I taught it to some of you. Well, we'll sing it here in a minute, all right? And then you'll know it, and then you'll remember it, and then we can sing all the time. How about that? It's about being kind. What's it mean to be kind, Katie? When someone is kind to me, what do you think? What does that mean? What do you think, Eleni? Eleni, when somebody's kind, what does that mean? What do you think? When somebody's nice, what does that mean when they're nice to you? Yeah, that's right, exactly. So here's a song. It's a nice song. I heard it a long time ago, Nicole. When I was about your size, all right? It goes like this. When I treat you kindly, it makes you happy, changes you inside. Remember that? Makes you feel important, dear and cherished, and it makes you kind. Here's the part you can sing with me. Isn't God good when he asks us? Just to love like he does. Isn't God good when he asks us just to be so kind? We'll sing it again in a minute, Chris, if you're going to like this. But here, gentlemen, <laughs> come here. And you closer to me. All right. So this morning in the gospel, the Lord Jesus said something very important. What did he say? He said, treat other people the way that you want to be treated, right? So, it's, so what do you think that means, Eleni? Like, how do you want people to treat you? Do you want them to be nice to you? Like, to share things with you? Maybe to be your friend? What do you think? When someone is nice to you and they're kind to you, what does that mean? How do they express that? What do you think? Yes. When they help you, yeah, when they're helpful to you. Like what's, like what's a, a way that maybe somebody has helped you recently? A friend of yours? Like homework or something? Or What do you think is helpful? Yeah, okay, something like that, right? So, but what happens if some people are mean to us? What do you think? Is anyone ever mean to you? What do we think? Ooh, yeah, that's not good, is it? Yeah, that's, that's kind of sad, isn't it? But what did Jesus say today? What do you think, Gabriel? What did Jesus say? He said, treat other people the way that you wanted to be treated. What do you think that means? <coughs> treat other people like with Nicole. What do you think that means? You're going to treat Nicole the way that you want Nicole to treat you, right? Right? Nice, exactly. So you wouldn't punch people, right? But what happens... Why do you think people are mean to us? Why do you think people are mean? What do you think, Sophia? What makes people mean? She nailed it right here. She said, sometimes people are bullies because they're socially insecure and they don't have any friends. That's right. That's right. She'd be writing us down, folks. This is good stuff. She's giving you gold. Lenny, what do you think? Maybe the other kids did it. You're right. So it kind of gets like a, a, a circle of meanness. What do we think? What do we think they're mean? So what happens if someone is mean to us and we're mean back to them? What do you think is going to happen to that? Mm 
Right, so you hurt me, I hurt you. It's like, it's like a ping pong match with a rock, right? It just goes and goes and goes. So, but how do we, what do you think, God? We have a question? You should always tell your parents, absolutely. You, or their parents, you should always let the grown-ups know what's going on. Very important, people are being mean to you. It's very important that your mom and dad know about that, right? But how do we teach people, how do you think, how do we teach people to be nice? What do you think? Right, exactly, exactly. We help them, we show them. Like how do we learn to do something, right? What do you think, Jana? How do we learn to, to, to do something? Is it better if somebody tells you or if they show you? Right, like what's something you had to learn and someone had to show you how to do it? Like what do you think? Like, so, you, so some of you guys here are in Greek dance, yeah? You like to dance, it's fun, isn't it? But so what if, you're, what, what if your instructor just told you with words how to do it and didn't show you? What do you think, Gabriela? You should listen, you should also watch. So we demonstrate, and they get better at it. Exactly, just like Greek dance, right? If someone shows us how to do it, what do you think, Amanda? Then we'll get better at it, right? It's the same way with being kind, and with being nice. If we show somebody else how to be nice by being nice to them, then maybe they're gonna learn better to how to be nice to us. Do you think that could happen? Right, yeah? But we have to stop that, that kind of circle of being mean, right? Someone has to stop that, and it might as well be us because we know how to do it. Don't you think? What do we think? Yeah. Yeah. I think like Sophia said, sometimes they, people are mean because they're insecure, which means they don't know who they are. They're not very confident in who they are. Maybe, and, and it was said too, that some, maybe somebody hurt them, and so they feel like they have to hurt somebody else. Or maybe they feel like somebody else may hurt them, so they need to hurt them first, right? All right? And a lot of times big people act that way all the time, and we call it politics, but um, uh, there's a better way. <laughs> And that is that we can show people how we should behave, right? So, so what do we think we can do from here? When we go to school and there are people who are mean to us, what should we do, Gabriella? What do you think? Yeah, we should say, but we, what do you think, Gabriella? Uh, you tell a teacher. You can also be nice to them anyway, right? What do we think? Get a friend, right? Right? What do we think? Tell your mom. That's right. That's right. That's, and be kind. Yes, and be kind. Because kindness makes more kindness happen, right? And so what did Jesus say? Whenever Jesus says something, is he wrong? No, no. So what did he say? He said, do to other people what you want them to do to you. Treat other people the way you want them to treat you, right? Right? It's a very simple lesson, but I'll tell you that a lot of times people don't. It is, but it can change a lot of things, don't you think? All right, so what are we going to do? We're going to go, and we're going to be kind to others. And we're going to trust God that he'll help us and show them how to be kind to us as well. Is that a pretty good idea? You think we can do that? Yep. Yeah? All right, very good. So there's one more thing you need to help me with. We're going to say the Lord's Prayer together because the next thing that happens in the liturgy is the Lord's Prayer. And I want you all to help me with that. You know that from school, don't you? Nicole, you can say it really loud. So something I have to say first. I have to say, make us worthy of mass it with confidence without fear of reproach. To make bold to call you the heavenly God, Father, and to say, stand up and say it with me, okay? Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. Amen. Provide us a kingdom and the power and the glory 
of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever into ages of ages. Amen. All right.